This weekend, Sunday afternoon, there's going to be a big rally in Texas on the steps of the state capitol in Austin that is effectively being framed as a plea to Washington, a plea to the United States Senate, that the Senate should pass the For the People Act, the Federal Voting Rights Act. So in states like Texas, Republicans no longer have the option of stripping voting rights even further. Joining us now is Texas State Representative Trey Martinez Fisher. He led the walkout of Texas House Democrats that successfully stalled that state's last big anti-voting bill. This week, he and other Texas state Dems have been on Capitol Hill uh, meeting with senators, meeting with Vice President Harris to advocate passing this this federal voting rights legislation. Uh, Representative Martinez Fisher, thank you so much for being with us. I really appreciate you taking the time. Happy Friday. (laughs) <laughs> Indeed. Um, it has been, I know, a big week, and it's likely to be a big weekend with this Capitol Steps rally in Austin on Sunday. Let me just ask you where you think you are in the fight. How durable you think the victory is that you already achieved in the legislature, you and your caucus, and how hopeful you are about further progress? Well, well Rachel, listen, you know, we're at that, that crucial moment. You have to go hard or go home. Uh, America is now talking about voting rights. We need real reform. We have a chance. We're holding the line here in Texas. We walked out, but that's not going to be forever. Uh, Republicans are silencing voices all over this country. They started in Georgia. They silenced voices there. They went on to Florida. When they were done in Arizona, 40,000 Latinos, they, they came off the voting rolls. And if, if, if we get silenced in Texas, Republicans will march just all over this country until our democracy is destroyed. And so listen, we're going to do it for Daisy, uh, just like uh, on that (laughs) video clip, but we need to do it now. And now is the time. When you were in Washington, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I understand that among the people you met with this week was Senator Joe Manchin, who is the one Democrat um, in the Senate who is not signed on to support the For the People Act. Um, First of all, is is that true? And if so, how did it go? Yes. Yeah, so uh, I met with uh, Senator Manchin's chief of staff and his legislative director for 45 minutes. And everybody's telling me by Washington standards, that's almost a lifetime. And I'll be I'll be very frank. I mean, he, they couldn't have been more kind. We went through S1, you know, blow by blow. Uh, all of the compromise points that were released 24 hours later, we went through them. And and, and really, you know, what, what really hit them over the head is as they were explaining West Virginia law to me, I'll be real brief. But in West Virginia, if you're in a county jail, you can get to vote by mail. If you work a shift and because you work a shift, you can't vote during the day, you get to vote by mail. Uh, during the pandemic, you could vote by mail. We cannot do any of those things in Texas. Uh, the hurdles are that high and there's so much tripwire on the ground. Uh, the, the, the voter discrimination in Texas is not accidental. It's intentional. And that's why we need national reform. Let me ask you about another Texas-specific part of this. It seems like, looking from the outside, um, that in anger, uh, Texas's Republican Governor Greg Abbott has decided to effectively defund the legislature, to defund the people who work in the legislature, support staff, um, as punishment for you and your colleagues having walked out to stop the, the anti-voting bill. Is that actually what's happening? Is that Am I reading correctly what he did today? You are reading that correctly, but I mean, obviously, the governor needs a civics lesson. You're not going to hurt me. My salary is protected by the Texas Constitution, and it's not a lot of money, and I don't do it for the money. He's going to hurt the hardworking men and women that actually do the job. As a matter of fact, he'll hurt the ones drawing maps for legislative redistricting, which, again, is another big front on the attack on voting rights. I mean, he's he's proving our point, but this is really kind of sham government governance. If you ask me, these are the kind of shams you do when you're not as cool as Governor DeSantis, I guess. Uh, and and what, what he really needs to focus on is do the work himself. Uh, you know, all this notion of building a wall, defunding the legislature, all these things he's doing when we're not in town, uh, he should be doing it when we're there. If, if he has the bravado to pass that kind of legislation, why don't he why didn't he try when we're there working in Austin? But, you know, listen, he wants to play these, these what we call piñata politics here, where he just wants to swing at everything. But, you know, I think the people of Texas know better, but he is exhibit A as to why we need somebody, why we need national voting rights so that we can deal with, you know, governors and bullies like like Governor Abbott.